Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. We begin with breaking news and updates sparking worries across the county. Startling images, a giant tree topples into a home killing two people, and it may have been sparked by our recent wet weather. And we continue our team coverage with Team 10's Melissa Masiha in the 10 News Live Center. Melissa, between rain last week and conditions this week, some homeowners are worried we could see more large trees topple in the days to come. And Lindsay, that is always the big concern, especially with these windy conditions and all the large trees we do see around the county. Now, experts say if you are worried about them, one of the first questions you should ask is who owns them? Debris from the tree that caused so much devastation littered the street. Somber reminders of what happened here early Monday morning. Of course, part of this investigation will go into ownership. I mean, it doesn't matter if the owner of the property is the government, is the HOA, is a corporation, or is a private individual. The rule still holds. You have to look at where the trunk of the tree is located. Evan Walker is a personal injury attorney. He's been involved in cases where trees cause major damage. He says before you go to court or talk to him about a disputed tree, talk to your neighbor. Let them know your concerns and um, give them an invitation to work with you. And back then that up with written documentation. If there's a tree that already caused problems, photograph the damage, document the damage, call your homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance, report the claim to them, and then at that point, you would want an adjuster from the insurance company to come out there, and then you also want to contact your information, uh, your neighbor, and let them know what's going on. Lastly, don't take matters into your own hands. Don't want to take clippers and a chainsaw and start going to town on your neighbor's trees without letting them know. Walker said today's incident, an important reminder to take a look at your own trees and their structure in hopes this devastation doesn't happen again. Now, if a situation with a tree does eventually take you to court, Walker says another important question you should ask, is there a compelling case of negligence against the tree owner? Now, you may be wondering if your tree is at risk. We are working on that part of the story. We do have a crew on it right now. We'll have that tonight on 10 News at 6. I'm Melissa Masiha here in the Live Center. Back to you.